Okay, now I'm going to discuss electromagnetic waves in plasma. So my first equation, which is the Faraday's law, will remain the same. That is del cross E1 equals minus partial B1 by partial T. And the second equation, which is the Bayes' law, which is C squared del cross B1 is minus is partial E1 by partial T plus J1 by epsilon. This is going to be the first order contribution from the plasma due to the particle motion. Now, in order to solve this equation, we again going to do the same thing that I'm going to take the curl of this equation and substitute the value of uh, this del cross V1 here in equation one. So let's see uh, del cross del cross V1. equals minus partial by partial t del cross b1 okay now this del cross del cross e1 will again give me the same del del dot e1 minus del square e1 equals or we can write it in this term minus del cross b1 dot where dot is the time derivative of this quantity so in order to calculate this del cross b1 dot i have to take the time derivative of this equation too so by taking the time derivative of c square partial by partial t del cross b1 equals partial 2 e1 by partial t square plus 1 over epsilon naught <coughs> sorry partial j1 by partial t now substitute this value from here to this equation. Then we have considered again the same thing that uh, our own uh, product quantities are uh, behaving as exponential over vector x minus omega t. So this del dot e1 will give me. So I'm going to write it that all the product quantities e1 b1 j1 they're all going to be kx minus omega t so from here you can see when i will take uh, that then i will get from this equation iota k iota k dot e1 and then minus iota k square e1 equals from here minus iota omega square e1 plus okay minus iota omega by epsilon naught j1 so now for the transfer phase these electromagnetic waves are the transfer phase also so this term is going to vanish a1 dot e4 zero and we are left with uh, minus and minus plus k square e1 equals again minus iota omega into minus iota omega that will give me minus omega square e1 minus iota omega by epsilon naught g1 now i can uh oh this whole thing okay I have missed uh, c square somewhere. Oh, this one. C square here. And then 
c squared here. Okay. One. This is one over c squared and one over c squared. So we have here c squared also. C squared. Now mega square minus c square k square e1 equals minus eta omega by epsilon naught j1. So here the only term that is uh, now going to be find out is j1 which is due to the plasma. So I'm going to write uh, now for the, the equations for the, the plasma and then I'm going to solve j1. Okay. 